When a tropical storm makes landfall, the chaos is instant. Wind howls, rain pours, and entire neighborhoods vanish underwater. But what if the true danger begins after the storm passes? This is tropical storm infection, something in the water. When floodwaters recede, they leave more than mud and debris. They create a perfect environment for something unseen, alive and waiting. The mix of seawater and freshwater forms what scientists call brackish water. Add warm temperatures and decaying organic matter, and you've built a paradise for microbes. One of the most dangerous is a bacterium called Vibrio vulnificus. Naturally found in coastal waters, it multiplies rapidly after hurricanes and floods. It doesn't need a host to survive, just warmth, salt, and time. But when it does find a host, that's when the horror begins. After Hurricane Ian hit Florida, health departments warned residents to stay out of flood water. Several people who ignored that warning developed severe infections within hours. What began as a small cut turned into swelling, blackened tissue, and in some cases, death. Vibrio enters through wounds or even by eating raw seafood from contaminated areas. Once inside, it spreads fast, destroying muscle, attacking the bloodstream, and sometimes forcing doctors to amputate to save a life. And here's the twist. This bacterium isn't new. It's always been here. But storms, warming oceans, and rising tides are giving it new power. Each year, cases climb higher and move farther inland than before. Scientists call it a climate-driven pathogen. Locals just call it the monster in the water. Yet this isn't just a horror story, it's a warning. If you've been in flood water with open cuts, clean them immediately. Don't handle raw shellfish from questionable sources. And when you see murky water after a storm, think twice before stepping in. Because sometimes survival isn't about fighting the storm. It's about respecting what it leaves behind. Like, share, and subscribe for more real-world monsters hiding in plain sight. The next episode drops soon, and trust me, you'll want to know what's lurking beneath the surface.